Hello and welcome to Kerala Gram Market, our daily show on Nifty, Bank Nifty and USDNR. Every day we look at chart, we look at uh, open interest analysis, we look at what else do we look at? FIDI data and then we try to form an opinion on where the market is likely to go and we also talk about some trades which we can do. So without further ado, let me share the charts and let's get started with Kya Lagraha Hype Market. Okay. So on Friday when we closed, we had, uh, sorry, on Thursday when we closed, we had a following comments on this thing. We said that Look, this is a doji, so it can be a buy on dip if it comes to this level, which is 100 DMA. But there are two other levels we have to watch for. One level, of course, is if it closed above Thursday's closing, then it's a long. This was one observation we had. And we had also drawn a uh, horizontal level, which if it breaks, there could be further upside, right? So two things we talked about. One first thing, of course, is that we thought that this is an upward trending channel and there are two indecision candles. So if it goes below, this is a buying zone, which is 100 EMA. But if it breaks the previous day's high, then also it's a buying zone. Also, if you looked at Friday's candle, it was above the close of Thursday's candle. It did break the horizontal support and it is a bullish engulfing. So all three put together, it was a buy signal, although we couldn't act on this Friday because obviously our analysis does not happen during market and uh, there's no point in saying it's on Sunday because by that time everything was done and dusted. I mean, maybe there was a buying opportunity at around 17,800 today, but even that is tricky because I'll tell you why that was tricky, right? Because if market opened today, you are actually looking at the top of this channel. Now, if the channel broke, then it's a buy again. So you could have done that, but that is in retrospect. But the best time to buy was Friday when it went above the close of Thursday and it gave a close above the... So all this is fine. Now let's see what we can do for the future. Now here is the interesting part. If I were to connect this top with this top, then you can see that today uh, we had... <clears throat> the channel top or resistance coming somewhere near this level and you can also see that there was price action rejection there so if i zoom into intraday charts it will be much more clear so there was a clear rejection on an intraday basis when it approached the top of this channel nevertheless it went halfway up there and it came back again so now the read is simple right we are again at an interesting make or break zone of nifty if Nifty breaks this channel, then there can be significant upside in Nifty and we can see either a touch of the previous all-time high which is 18600 or even new all-time high is getting formed if it breaks this channel. If it does not break this channel, we get negative price action, we get a shooting star or a bullish engulfing or a doji or an evening star or something, then then can be negative. It's fairly simple from a trading point of view. We are at a resistance. If it breaks, it will go up again. If it is respected we can see a retracement but this is a chart read now let's look at open interest right open interest is very interesting today everybody sold uh, puts nobody sold very few people sold calls you, you can see 14 million calls and 20 million puts but the calls are all at higher levels 1800 types but here's the interesting bit option chain as of today is incredibly high at a pcr of 1.3 18,000 is a resistance, but after that, there are no resistances. 18,200 is a kind of a resistance. 300 is not, 400 is not. The first real resistance is 18,500. Although 200 has some kind of a resistance forming. 18,000 was a proper resistance, but that is dated and taken out today itself, I think. So this is what the option chain looks like. right? So now that we are done with chart and option chain and PCR, let's look at what FIA data has to say. Sorry. FIA data is super interesting. Normally, right, if you look at FIA data, for example, if you looked at March 30th FIA data, you can say that normally every month puts are more than calls, right? But today, if you look at FIA data, calls are actually more than puts, right? So let me change it to today's data. Today is what, March, April 4th. 
calls are more than puts although by 3000 tiny quantity it is more if i bought calls and bought puts today buy call buy put but tiny amount of buy put majority it is buy call futures data is 1500 crores buy stock data is 1000 plus crore buy so overall it looks mega bullish right and you can see that FIA bought in cash today, DIA bought in cash today. Retail sold, they, maybe they booked some profit because, you know, after a long time, market has really gone up. A lot of people would have got out of their uh, HDFC stocks maybe. But largely, this is not a market you want to short, right? So I'm not saying that short the market because although it is near the resistance, if the resistance breaks, there can be a huge upside and your short will get murdered if you stand here. But if you see negative price action here, then it might be worth considering if open interest and FIT is also supporting. But if this channel breaks, please be prepared for. So I think long time back when it had broken 100 DMA, 200 DMA, we were saying that market could go to 17, 700, 800 zone and all that. But this is much more than that expectation. Market has gone to 18,000 odd levels. But after this point, we have to watch this channel. If it breaks, we can see this or even further if it does not break we are back into the channel again right and then we'll see what happens but as of now please don't short i'll tell you why not short it does not make sense to short because there is a resistance you should short a resistance only if there is supporting price action or a rejection like today for example there is a tiny rejection here but i won't call it significant rejection this is a small rejection but if you see huge rejection right for example yahape it was like a proper big rejection with a price action candle or if you see this this was rejection with a price action candle which is a bearish engulfing this was a bearish engulfing candle with a rejection right this is not any kind of rejection so i won't short here but tomorrow if we get some you know shooting star or doji or evening star or one of those things then it's a short otherwise please don't short this market it can be really dangerous which is supported by bank nifty further because bank nifty has broken out of this channel so in bank nifty again in the closing remarks of thursday we were saying that look the three moving averages here it's really difficult to break them but if it breaks them you have to buy and on friday it broke all three of them on the same day and closed above and we saw what happened on monday and today it even broke the channel right so uh, Bank Nifty now looks uh, very bullish because it has broken the channel. Now we have to wait and watch if this breakout will sustain or not. Uh, but this is not a level to enter. You can enter here if you get back at this level. But again, it depends because if it falls back into the channel, this breakout is a fake out and we can get a supporting movement here also. So basically everything is simple. Bank Nifty sustaining above this channel, buy. Nifty breaking this channel, buy. Finally, moving to USDNR. USDNR has given heavy sell-off today. And uh, uh, as of now, it's not a buy. Any kind of support forms for the first time, maybe an around another uh, 40 paisa below. I don't know what's the domestic closing, I mean, international closing. You can look at the spot chart and trade this. But even otherwise, right, USDNR can be in free fall for a while all the way probably to the first point which is 75 25 watt levels but i won't want to buy there but there's a 100 dma there so 100 dma 75 25 is the first support we can see some bounce there the second support is 74 72 200 dma probably some support there finally the trend line which has been running for some time comes in and we can look at that but usdnr is not along at this level because it is showing continuous downward momentum uh, so verdict, if the channel breaks, there can be further upside. If it does not, we'll play it. So my trade is long if channel breaks and wait if channel does not. Because I'm saying wait because SNAE channel break ho jayega. Even if it consolidates for a two few days here, right? If it doesn't break out, it can just go down a little bit, consolidate here and eventually break out, right? So even if it pauses, it doesn't mean you should short it. You should short only if there is clear price action, like a bearish engulfing. Like here you can see a bearish engulfing, right? Or a shooting star or something. Even if it is just staying here, then you have to assume that this is consolidation before the breakout. So my ideal trade would be, I'll go along again if this channel breaks, otherwise I'll hang around here. 
Now let's see some <coughs> audience comments. Why am I sad today? Or no, no man, I am not sad today. I have a, I have a more than usual cold. I am actually kind of happy because uh, I think Wednesday I had exited all my calls. If I had those calls, I would probably not be doing this show. Seventeen three hundred P. Somebody has sold. Can I sold hold till expiry? Absolutely yes. I mean, sorry, sorry. I should not say that. Uh, Uh, no other comments. Okay, so that concludes our analysis uh, for today. We will see you again tomorrow. So thanks uh, a lot, guys, again for joining. Uh, we will see you again tomorrow. But as usual, I mean, this is just analysis so that we understand how the market works. This is not prediction tips or you know research report or recommendation or any of that. We'll uh, please don't trade because somebody on YouTube is asking you to trade. The most important thing you have to do is. Uh, keep your capital safe. So on that note, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.